There we go. What are your expectations about the season? Well, it's a very short season, and the learning curve has to take pl place very quickly. So we got some people who've played and some that have never played. So it'll be interesting. My expectations are to win every game, have fun doing it, and become better at the end of the season than we were at the beginning. And that's it. Yeah. Love you all. Welcome back to this new edition of the Hawkeye. But before we do anything else, let's look at some new things going around school. This is Oxiri Lima. She is our avid class president. She has consistently demonstrated every positive character trait that we here at Mesa hope to see in our students. Hardworking, disciplined, kind, compassionate. What else would we use to describe her? Uh, she helps to make sure I'm a better teacher. She doesn't take any guff from me if I'm messing around. She makes sure I know it. Uh, if I forgot to do something, she's likely to remember it. She helps the people around her stay focused. Um, I don't think she's ever made a mistake about anything in her entire life. Um, right? She's the best. We should all be more like her. The world would be a better place. Nice. Everybody clap! clap Everybody clap! Here. Everybody clap! School events. Girls basketball tournaments, 7th grade at Los Osos and 8th grade at Laguna. Girls and boys soccer is starting. Due to upcoming events, school dance was moved to March 1st. Also, the color bottle was on the 22nd due to some rain that hit our cities. Pennies for Patience ends March 1st. There is 8th grade parent information night for New Pomo High School on March 5th. New Tech High School is having talk, talks in science class February 25th. Mr. Norlock is back for one more season coaching the 8th grade boys volleyball team. Well, I just love being with the students, and it's just a great opportunity to, to, to take students from a physical education class and take them to the next level, competition, and have some fun. What's your favorite thing about coaching volleyball? I, I think it's the uh, changing of the attitude. We think of volleyball is just spank the ball over the net, and we find out that there are plays and positions, and that's a very vicious game. What have you been doing since you've retired? A lot of honeydew chores around the house and a lot of fishing. Expectations about the season? Well, it's a very short season and the learning curve has to take pl place very quickly. So we got some people who've played and some that have never played. So it'll be interesting. My expectations are to win every game, have fun doing it, and become better at the end of the season than we were at the beginning. And that's it. I like conditioning because I feel good about myself after. Uh, I like uh, all of it pretty much. It's all really fun. How long have you been wrestling? I've been wrestling for two years, but... Yeah, same. Two years. I'm so nervous. I don't know. Why are you nervous? What got you into wrestling? Um, it kind of just seemed fun and I like contact sports, so um, I did it. My dad forced me into it. That's what is your favorite food? My favorite food is sushi, and then on a good day, um, ribs from Firestones. Oh my god, this is so good. I like ice cream, not, not ice cream. No, like your ice food, cream. Austin. Ice cream is a food. Something you would, would you eat ice cream every single day for the rest of your life? Yeah, actually I would. Anyways. <laughs> what goals do you have for wrestling? Um, to get better. Uh, to win first in the Salinas Championship thingy. Thank you for joining us. 
You're so welcome. National Women's Day is coming up on the March 8th of March. We have that day off of school. Let's take a look at women who have influenced our lives past and present. Activist Rosa Parks. Writer Maya Angelou. Abolitionist Harriet Tubman. Survivor. Survivor. Mala Yusuf. Yusuf Hero Anne Frank. Suffragist Susan B. Anthony. Author Toni Morrison. Former First Lady Michelle Obama. Comedian slash talk show host Ellen DeGeneres. Athlete Serena Williams. And all our moms, grandmothers, and sisters out there. Now to introduce our new segment, the Pop Culture Segment. For our first pop culture story, we have that 21 Savage was released on bond from the ICE detention and is pending a deportation here. For the second pop culture, we are talking about the new movie, Alita Battle Angel. This movie is based on a girl who wakes up not knowing who she is and is taken under Dr. Ito's wing. In a place called Iron City, it is influenced off an anime called Gundam. Alita herself looks unusual, so people expected very little from the movie. However, it is now getting great reviews despite how weird Alita looks herself. From, from what we've heard from other students at the school, it's really good. For our third story, the Nintendo Direct. The most recent Nintendo Direct has brought us many new game announcements, such as the new Legend of Zelda game and Mario Maker 2. They also teased the release of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's Update 3.0 coming. They didn't tell us much, but they did say some bits about Joker from Persona 5 coming to Smash, along with some bit with little info on Fire Emblem Free Houses. For our fourth story, the PS2 online servers have been completely shut down. After 19 years of childhood fun and memories, the new consoles have taken over the gaming world. But some classic games that will never be forgotten are the Jack and Daxter franchise, the Resident Evil franchise, the Ratchet and Clank franchise, the God of War franchise, the Sims franchise, and the most well-known games to ever come out, the GTA franchise, with its most popular game being GTA San Andreas. This meme is about the new ad for the live action Aladdin. People think it looks weird and, and how it looks different, like different things like Shrek, Kid Boo, or Thanos. <laughs> Thanks for watching this Hawkeye. Hey guys, next week we want to celebrate some cool things that you do outside of school. If you have any fun hobbies, sports, activities you want to share, please see Mr. Logo, one of the Hawkeye staff. And remember, stay classy, Mesa. Oh my god! I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I'll work it. <laughs> okay, about right. Holy cow! I know! <laughs> you gonna get any zit I right got? Here? Are you serious? Yeah.